Hello and welcome. Today I am going to make crock pot vegetable beef soup. I'm making a double batch so I can freeze some. I love putting it in the containers and putting it in the freezer and just pulling one out whenever we want one. Sometimes it's hard to cook a small amount anyway. I believe this is just a rump roast. I'm just going to cut it up. I'm cutting kind of big chunks. We like it that way. You wouldn't need to do that. You could make it as small as you like. I never brown mine first. You could do that. It's just another step I don't want to do. I'm going to add two cans of tomatoes. This recipe is actually from, I believe it's from the Taste of Home book, 1998, and it has been our favorite ever since then. I just added um, three cups of water. We add a little extra potato because it's just the way we like to have it. It is getting cold in Michigan, and this is such a great meal to have when it's cold out. I bought these onions at Sam's Club and they're really big. I rinsed off the celery first. I remember watching Rachel Ray one time and she said, just wipe down the celery, you don't need to wet it. And I feel like it's too dirty, it needs to be cleaned. I like to start this early in the morning, just let it go slow all day. I do start it on high and then I back it down to low. But if you were going to be gone all day, you could just put it on low. add two bags of the mixed vegetables. This batch is so big I end up grabbing another crock pot and adding some over there. 
I'm adding six beef bouillon cubes. I usually pop that in a microwave for just a minute with a little bit of water and they're, they are a lot easier to mix. And I add just a little bit more water just to kind of cover the everything. And I wanted to put about a table or I think it's a teaspoon of basil. I believe that's the oregano, one teaspoon. Yep, a little bit of salt. The recipe called for a teaspoon, but I don't like to add that much with the bouillon in there. A little bit of pepper. We like to add barley, so we add about a, I believe it's about a half a cup. And we add cabbage, which the recipe does not call for. That is what is so nice about this recipe, just put in what you like. Once the water comes to a boil, then I add the barley in. And that needs to cook for 45 minutes on low. And I add the barley in and just let it cook. I check on it every now and then, just give it a good stir. But it's not necessary if you're gone for the day. It's just tempting. The house is smelling really good at this point. It, this was the next day. This was how much we had left, and I wanted to freeze it. I got these containers at Gordon Foods. I really love them. I fill these up, and then I put them in freezer bags and put them in the freezer, and th that has worked out so well for us.
and put the lids on and they stack really nice as well that helps in the freezer All right, well, thank you for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and hit the like button.